in theory of interpolation and extrapolation we have learned what is interpolation and what is extrapolation in interpolation we calculate the missing number between a series suppose our population or we are calculating the population in every 10 years suppose we have taken the data of in 2041 then 51 then 61 then 71 then 81 then 91 then 2001 and 2011 we have calculated the data of the population if we want to calculate if we want to know what will be our population in 1985 is over there so that is the between the series we have the data related to the population from 2019 to 1900 01 to we are having 2011 we the data of the population is available if we want to calculate the data available data between one year we want to calculate that is called interpolation but if we want to having for the future it means we we want to forecast for the data that is called extrapolation it means if suppose my series is, uh, given series is 1941 to 2011 if I am to calculate one data related to what will what will what may be the population of 1975 it is called interpolation but if I want to calculate the po population data for 2000 2021 which is not available that is the further if I, if I want to project the population data for 2031 that is called extrapolation we are having so many methods for calculating interpolation and extrapolation in today video we will discuss the graphical method with the help of gra graphical method how we can calculate interpolate a series is over there so i have taken the population data that is related to 1900 41, 1951, 1961, 1971, 1981, 1991, 2001, and 2011. The data which is given 31.9 crore, 36.1 crore, 43.9 crore, 54.8 crore, 68.3 crore, 84.6 crore, 102.7 crore, and 121.4 crore. With the graph, if we want to project what will be our population in 1965 what may be the population in 1995 what may be the population 2020 2020 20, 20, if these all are related to interpolation of this 1965 lies here 1995 lies here and 2022 lies, 2000 not for 2022 2002 if we are to calculate that lies so we are having first methods for calculating for interpolating the data that is called a graphical method with the help of the graph we may be having the interpolate the data so firstly we will draw a graph of the given data then we will having the interpolate the data for the further year because as we know that in every 10 year we are having the population data we are not uh, calculating the data between the 10 year so if we want to cal uh, if want to now what will be the population into 1965 what may be the population in 1995 so we have to interpolate the data and the first method for the interpolation that is called the, that is called the graphical method and later we will discuss the mathematical method for the interpolation is over there so firstly i am drawing a graph so that is starting from this so i am having the false baseline first one that is false, false baseline as already we have discussed what is false baseline is over there. So very first we are having 1941, then 51, then 61, then 71, then 81, then 91, then 2001 and 2011 data we, are, we have available. So first we are having 30, then 40 then 50 crores, then 60 crores, then 70 crores, then 80 crores, then 90 crores, then 100 crores, then 110 crores and 121 crores. 120 crore and last one 130 crore. So we have taken in a graph we up to 130 crores 
population in population so we are having population in crores years so firstly we will plot the original data 31.9 crores first one 36 point that is 35 so this is 36 crores 43.9 crores so 40 and this may be 43.9 crore 54.8 crore so 50 and 4 in 71 54.8 crore 68.3 crore so 60 nearby 70 in 81 that is 68 crores population is over there then 84.6 in 1999 so 84 is over there in 1991 the population data is this and 102 that is 102.7 is over there. We have plotted that is 84. So 80 plus 4 that is 84 in 1991. Now in 2001, 102.7 crores, so 100 and 102 in 2001. And 2011, we are having 121.4 crores, so 121.4 crores in 2011. So, this is the, our population chart. This shows the population. Okay. If we want to calculate what is the population in 1965, this is interpolation. So, for getting the interpolation, we are having this one, 1965. Our population may be like this. In 1965, the population may be in this. If it may be more than 40, nearby that is 46 crores. In 61, there is a 43.9, approximately 44 crore. But, but in 1960, seeing the trend, that may be approximately it is 46 crores. If we want to calculate the population, in 1973, suppose we want to calculate in 1973. So, 71, 75 is over there. So, 73 will be here. So, we are having the one perpendicular in 73. This is 75. So, in graph paper, we will having the perpendicular and getting this. So, it is nearby 61 or 60 crores. So, as we think that in 73, what will be our population? So, in 73 year, our population may be 60 crore and in 65, it may be having 46 crores. Nearby, we, are, we want to project in 1995, what may be the population is over there. So, in 91, in 95 is over there. So, we were having one perpendicular here in 95. So, our population may be in 95, the population may be like this. In 95 year, there may be 94 crores. In 95, the population may be 94, nearby 95 crores. If we want to having, these are the interpolation because we are calculating the, avail, the population data. Between the data we are calculating, that is interpolation. If we want to having what may be our population in 2021, seeing the trend, that will be called extrapolation. This curve shows if we want to having forecast for the 2021, that is called extrapolation. Seeing the trend, it may be the population may be for 2021, the population data may be 131 crores. So, this is called interpolation and extrapolation, and this is the method of the graphical method is over there. 
if we want to calculate the given data, if we want to get unknown data between the series that is called interpolation, if we want to having the forecast which is not given and which is, uh, which is out of the limit of this that is called extrapolation. If we want to calculate for 1931 that is also extrapolation. If we want to calculate for 2021 that is also extra, uh, extrapolation is over there. So this is the graphical methods for interpolation and extrapolation. The very first we make a graph for that such and after if we will, we will uh, plot this population data in a graph paper and firstly we will get that this is the original line is over there and we want to calculate for the between the year we want to interpolate the data is over there as we are calculating for the 1961-1973 is over there and 1995 is over there that is called interpolation if we want to calculate for next one that is called extrapolation is over there so with the help of the graphical method also we can calculate the data of interpolation and extrapolation i think with the help of this video you may be learn how to calculate how to interpolate and extrapolate the data related with the graphical method thank you once again